What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage and we have an exciting freaking engine. We've been waiting on this thing. We knew about this a year ago, but this is the 999cc Duramax V-Twin. That's a hoss. So, um, this thing makes 58 foot-pounds of torque at 2500 RPM. That's a monster. A GSXR 600 engine makes around that torque, but it makes it at like 5 billion RPM. So this is going to be a super awesome uh, engine for a buggy. This is making almost the torque of my supercharged 670 right out of the box. So we're going to unbox it, take a look at the valve train, kind of like we did the Harbor Freight engines here recently. Uh, but I am super pumped about this behemoth. And we have to do a certain weird setup with the CVT because the output shaft is so huge. But uh, let's get this thing unboxed because this is, this is exciting. Oh boy. That one's stapled, this one. Pull it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Break it. It's 110 pounds. It says use mechanical lifting. Cheaper than you're okay. not really strong. Remember to jerk and twist your back. Jerk and twist. <laughs> So honestly, like looking at it, it doesn't seem that much bigger than a like a 670 or the 713 Duramax, but it's beefcake for sure. So we have a push button start on it. Man, that is thick. <laughs> yeah, everything. The crankshaft, we'll show that in a minute. We have a push button start. This is a digital RPM speed, and then you set your RPMs with this knob. So it'll hold it like max four grand. This is sick. This is a sweet freaking engine. It's only, it's carbureted still. It is not fuel injection, but look at that crankshaft. Holy guacamole. <laughs> that is a monster. Look so, at the size of the key. Yeah, it's got a 3 8 key in it. 5 8 crankshaft bolt, and this is 1.4 inches, so around 1 and 7 16 uh, which is massive. They did send us the muffler that looks a lot like a normal V-twin muffler. It braces off the block here, and this is exciting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a valve cover off. We're gonna look at the valve train. And we're gonna talk about how we're gonna put power to a buggy on this because we can't just put a pulley. There's no pulley out there big enough for this. So we do have a pretty cool idea on that. So uh, yeah, this thing is a monster. This is, this is really exciting. Spring is in the air. Birds chirping, flowers blooming, grass growing. You know what that means. Time to freaking mow the yard. Are you tired of your lawn care equipment not starting after the long, cold winter? Are you tired of throwing your arm out of socket trying to pull start the dang thing? Are you tired of your neighbors judging you with their judging eyes as you sling the lawn care equipment across the lawn? Then you need Blaster's small engine tune-up. This is a tune-up in a can. You already know Blaster for their penetrating catalyst and this stuff eats through rust like nobody's business. But today we're gonna to be talking about small engine tune-up. Blaster small engine tune-up is easy to use. You pull your mower out of storage, remove the spark plug, and miss the cylinder for five to 10 seconds. Reinstall the spark plug, and do not plug back in the spark plug wire, and give the engine a couple turnovers. Let it set for 15 minutes, plug the spark plug wire back onto the spark plug, and fire it right up, and it's gonna blow a cloud of soot out of it, decarbon the piston, and cleaning out the engine. Small engine tune-up is a great product to have on your shelf for any kind of lawn care maintenance. You can use this on weed eaters, chainsaws, push mowers, riding mowers, tractors, bush hogs, whatever you got in the backyard, this stuff is gonna work. So make sure to check out the links in the video description for all the Blaster products. They're well used in this shop and they'll be used till the end of time. Thank you, Blaster. All right, so we're gonna pull off the valve cover off of this uh, new 999cc. What's cool is it's a, a six bolt valve cover, which I've never seen before. I don't want to rip the gasket. All right, so it's a basic, that's like you would see in a, a non-hemi style. So pretty, it's got a lot of room in there, but I'm not gonna be able to tell how the profile of the cam is. So it's just like a standard style rocker. So now I want to pull off this air box to see what the carb setup looks like, because I'm really interested and how they did this. So you have a knob, you just set your RPMs where you want it and it holds it at that. So that's gonna be, I don't know how we're gonna have to adapt that to a go-kart. All right, so we're gonna pull this, oh, this is just like twist lock style. 
it's got an air filter just pops on and slides right out so it does look like it's going to use a let me pull this housing off oh like a blower head so that's pretty sweet looks like they're not doing really anything different other than this is a digital carburetor control so we're not going to be able to just pop a a throttle bracket onto this and control this carburetor so i'm wondering what the port size is on this to see if i can run like a 713 port i would imagine it's a lot bigger but this scoop is pretty sick i like that a lot like it a lot looks like it has a electronics box back here it has a lot of wires on it that's interesting to see so luckily we partnered with Vimpack and finally got us an engine stand and with a few long bolts you can bolt one of these v-twins directly to an engine stand we got the crankshaft the output shaft going inside this tunnel right here as long as you center it make sure the crankshaft isn't pushing against anything which i do believe we have it yep that bolt is very close to it you see that be running some 1030 synthetic in this hog oh she's a thirsty wheel girl yeah she is <laughs> Talk to her like a baby or a dog. Or a baby dog. This would be better to mix in a quart of oil. You know what I mean? Like pour it in a quart of oil. I'm going to do the rest of this bottle. It's not a ton, but it'll add, like I said, a lot more zinc, which will help bearings and whatnot break in. I would do this if I was, if I built an engine, I would do this uh for the first few oil changes uh if not every oil change because it's just going to help add zinc that's going to um let's see what it says engine with flat tap lifters uh engine break-in high performance applications especially formulated with zddp that prevented the camshafts from valve train wear in classic cars hot rods and racing engines extreme pressure uh additives against yeah good stuff i use it all the time I mean, I assume it's good. I don't know. They get behind them. They get a regular roll in there. I don't know. <laughs> so we have everything set up. We have our gas can on our tripod. Shout out to Ben Pack for this engine stand and the uh, tripod right there. This is going to work. I mean, of course, this is not what this is intended for, but it's still pretty handy. Uh, so we have it hooked up to a uh, battery off of a Cadillac. Memo has a Cadillac. Yeah, money. But um, we have it hooked up. Gas is in it. Oil's in it and push button start so we should just start it up and then be able to electronically rev it now when we put this on the buggy we will not use this we're going to use a Makuni and bypass the governor most likely to avoid all the warranties if we can <laughs> so let's see push it hold down on the start button So that is the Duromax 999cc engine. Now this is designed, uh, I mean you can put it on anything your heart desires, but this is like what an industrial zero turn would have on it. And that's the reason they went with the 1.4 inch crankshaft. They matched what other uh, large engine manufacturers had. So it would be a good replacement if you had a large commercial mower or something. So uh, one thing is I don't know how you would wire this up to use this on a go-kart. So I'm just going to bypass all this. I'm assuming that it's electronically governed, which means it's going to restrict, restrict the coil packs, I would imagine. Um, this is the first engine I've messed with with the electronics like this. So how I intend on using it is removing all this and doing a Makuni and then seeing what happens. So I can use a standard throttle pedal instead of doing like a drive-by wire setup, which seems like it's just overcomplicating it. Um, 
other than that, the 1.4 inch crankshaft. We have another one of these engines sitting right here in the floor uh, because we're using one and building a full all out street bike, like an actual motorcycle. And we're gonna use a Harley Davidson divorce transmission. I think that'd be cool. And then we're gonna use another one for a buggy. And we got a lot of stuff planned to do performance wise to these engines to get even more because their compression ratio was like 8.5 to one. I'd like to get that mother high compression so she really makes some power. That and chromoly push rods, stuff like that. Try to get some billet rods made for it. It'd be pretty sweet. But on to the crankshaft. This is a hog of a crankshaft. It's got a 3 8 crankshaft key. It's a, it's a thick son of a gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the crankshaft out of one of these engines. And I'm going to take it to the machine shop and have them cut it off and only leave a couple inches, like an inch and a half exposed. And then we're going to taper it the same as a Polaris Razor 1000. Um, so we can use a Razor 1000 pulley on the buggy one. The one that's going to be on the Harley Davidson transmission, we don't have to do that. We'll just do a belt drive or something from the engine to the Harley Davidson transmission. So let us know what you think about this engine. If you'd like to see us do anything, we'd always love to hear uh, your comments and ideas on these things. It is one hoss of an engine. And uh, I think this is going to run about two grand. Um, it's not fully out yet. This was kind of some test samples for us to play with. And uh, we will be getting the crankshaft pulled out one, get another one set up. So be looking out for these on the channel. Leave a comment down below. Uh, massive shout out to Duramax for sending out these engines. Uh, we are pumped to use them. And a huge shout out to Blaster for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out the links for all these products in the video's description. It does help us continue to do these videos. So... Thank you guys for watching. We love you and God bless.